Hi everyone, I'm UK Manic Luma and I'm back again with one of Dreaming Out Loud's new designs. It's called Hera's Throne and if I just put my tablet next to the camera, see if we can get that into focus, there you go. So that is what she has on her Instagram account. If you aren't following her or me already, please do so. Details are below in the description box. And as always, I always make myself a little rendition to have a play around with it. And I really do mean a little one this time. So it is made out of mango, neon orange, orange and yellow opaque. So it has a, well, Dreaming Out Loud's called it, a flame look. And um, I'm going to go a little bit mad on the goals this time and some beading as well. So without further ado let's get on with it. This one is only a six pin bar design and if you've seen my previous tutorials with Dreaming Out Loud you will know that they're commonly nine pins. So this is only six and by two lengths so you only need four looms in total to complete this design. And it is a design I believe a beginner to a medium luma can do with no problems. So let's get started on the layout. So it's got your first pin bar here. You're going to go diagonally down half, diagonally up half, same level, diagonally down half and diagonally up half. Okay. So go ahead and choose your colours. I would say you need approximately four colours at least. And when you've done that and set up your loom, just press play. All right then, let's get the border laid. For the border, I will be doing the, or be using the Persian Sunkiss bands, which are new to my UK store. And I've never seen them before until they came in with the shipment and I absolutely love them. They're very similar to the metallic golds, but just a little more I guess sun kiss the two of them. So we're using them for the border. I will also be using these beads here. If I can just bring it up a little bit. I don't think you can see any better if I bring it up. There you go. So these are seed beads and I believe these are five mil seed beads with a nice size hole in them. And I'll be using them for a pearl effect to the border. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to lay our closing band here because this is where we'll be closing up. And for this, I'm only going to use one band, but if you really want to be safe, use two. And then we're going to go from the third pin bar, first pin, and we're going to go down diagonally. Then up diagonally, and I'm just going to come back to the fourth pin bar. Then I'm going to go down diagonally to the right, and then up diagonally to the right. Okay. Then I'm going to do one empty band, so no beading, on my left side, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit for this. There you go. And then I'm going to start laying them with the beads. Now obviously you can do them without the beads, that's absolutely fine. I just decided to put a little bit of bling on this. So, oh, sorry that is my phone going off. There you go. So we're just going to go along that first pin bar. And I'm not going to keep on all the way because this quite slow when you're just putting the beads on. Then of course you're going to come back and do this side as well. There you go. So I'm going to do, oh no, I'm going to I leave one empty on that one and I'll leave one empty at the end as well. So I'm just going to go up this sixth pin bar like so. One more on there. I really do love these Persian sun kiss bands. Right, okay. So once you've done all the 
straightforward on the first and sixth pin bar. You are going to stop on the second pin from the end and from the third pin there I'm going to put a blank one on like that and then I'm going to go diagonally in, diagonally in and then I'm going to leave this because this is where our cap band is going to go, okay? Then I'm going to go on the third pin there, I'm going to do a straight with no beading on it, diagonally inwards and diagonally inwards. Don't forget to do those straight lines before you do this bit though, okay? So go ahead and finish your border and when you're ready, just press play. Okay, so that's my border done. Next we'll be doing a straight line with a zigzag attached. I'm just going to bring this in a little bit more. Keep it in frame for you. So I'm going to use two colours. I'm going to use a metallic white for my straightforward and a metallic blue for my zigzags. Okay? So I'm going to go on second pin bar first. First pin, we're going to do one straight up. Then we're going to go from the first pin bar, first pin, we're going to go down the up and in, and then down the up and out. So you do a zig and a zag. Then second pin bar again, we're going to go up one. Then we're going to go from the first pin bar, we're going to zig inwards and zag outwards. Then we're going to do one more forward. Then we're going to zig inwards and zig outwards like that. And we're just going to continue that pattern all the way to the end. Then we're going to come back to the fifth pin bar and we're going to do the same. So we're going to go forward one. We're going to go from the sixth pin bar, first pin, we're going to go down the up and inwards and then down the up and outwards. Then we're going to go forward one. We're going to go down the up and inwards then up and outwards. One more. We're going to go straight up. Then we're going to go up and inwards. And then up and outwards, okay? So I repeat that pattern all the way to the end and when you're ready, just press play. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is long diagonals inwards and short diagonals outwards. And for this I'm going to be using a metallic gold with these beautiful little metallic blue seed beads. They're, I think they're five millimetres, possibly four. And I'm going to come back and use my Persian Sun Kiss. Now they do look very similar, but there is a slight variation. You most probably won't pick it up on the camera, but if you use the combo it should look really good on your bracelet. Okay, so for the long diagonals, I'll be using my beads with my metallic. And if I just pull up this rendition, I know it's not that clear to see, but where these yellow, oh, there you go, where these yellow bits are here, I'm hoping there is a little gap that sits there and I'm hoping the beads will sit right there. So that's the aim. I haven't practiced it with the beads, so I am really hoping my idea pans out. And I guess we'll find out. So what we want to do is we're going to go on the second pin bar, first pin. We're going to stick one end of the band, do a long stretch inwards to the middle. Okay. And then we're going to go and get your second colour. You're going to go in the third pin bar, first pin, and we're going to do a short diagonal up and out. Then from where that pin finished, we're going to pop our long diagonal up to the centre or the third pin bar. We're going to drop down one. We're going to pop our next band on. So that's the third pin bar, second pin. We're going to diagonal up and out. From that, where it's just finished, we're going to stick our long diagonal, which is going to go long stretch up and inwards. And then we're going to put our drop down one, and we're going to go short diagonal up and out. Okay, so like I said, there isn't, you can't see it on camera, but there is 
just a subtle difference that will make these two stand out. Right, now we're going to jump over to the fifth pin bar and we're going to start with that long one again. You, again, you don't have to use beads, okay? So if you don't want to use the beads, just use a plain band. So fifth pin bar, we're going to do a long stretch up and inwards. We're going to drop down one, short stretch up and out. From that pin, we're going to do a long stretch up and inwards. Drop down one, short stretch up and out. And then we're going to go from that pin, we're going to do a long stretch up and inwards. And then drop down one, we're going to do a short stretch up and out. Okay, so we're going to do that sequence all the way to the end. And when you've done the same, just press play. Okay, so the next part is we're going to be doing two simple straight lines and we're going to be doing them on the third pin bar and the fourth pin bar. And for them I'm going to be bringing back the metallic white. And we'll start on the third first and I'm just going to bring it straight up. I'll do one more. I think we all should know what a straight line looks like. And then on the fourth and I'm going to just take that straight up, catch all the loose hair. I dropped all my bands on the floor earlier and uh, suddenly I picked up a lot of dog hair, picking them back up, so I'm having to de-pick them. Right, anyway, go ahead and do those straight lines all the way to the end and when you're ready, press play. All right, so now we're gonna do the middle part and that will be the final bit that we have to lay before we can get to turn it around and start stitching them up. For this, I'm gonna be bringing back the metallic blue and we're gonna be doing some X's. And we're gonna start on the third pin bar, uh, first pin, and we're gonna go diagonally up and out. Then we're gonna drop down one, diagonally up and out as well. And I'll just bring it down, there you go. Right, so third pin, our second pin, we're gonna go diagonally up to the right. Drop down one, diagonally up to the left. I think that's a better description. Then with the same pin, we're gonna diagonally up to the right, drop down one, diagonally up to the left. I'll do one more before we go off camera. So it's going to be that pin, we're gonna go diagonally up to the right and diagonally up to the left. So go ahead and lay your X's and then when you finish, just press play. Okay then, it is now time to start stitching. So first thing we need to do is we need to be putting a cap band between these two here. So I'm going to go with my border color, which was that Sunkiss Persian. And I'm just gonna take it once and twist it so it's a double cap band. And I'm going to put it over the third pin bar and stretch it over to the fourth pin bar like that. Next thing I need to do is go grab a hook because it seems like I have forgotten them so I'll be right back. Okay I'm back and I've got my hook and some c-clips that I also forgot to bring with me. So what I need to do now is I need to go into this cap band and grab the bottom X band so that will be the one going on your third pin bar first pin and we're just going to bring it up and back to itself. Then we're going to go down one pin bar, we're going to grab the other part of the X and bring it up and back to itself like that, okay? Now for every X onwards we'll be taking that top band first so we'll be going into the fourth pin bar first and bringing it up and back to itself. Go down one, grab a third pin bar one, bring it up and back to itself. In the same pin, we're gonna go and grab that top band and bring it back to itself like that. And drop down one and bring that part of the X back to itself as well. Okay, so that's what you need to do. So top first, bottom second. When you're ready, just press play. Alright, so if you've done it right, this is what it should look like. 
And next we're going to be doing these two single lines on the third and fourth pin bar. And all we're gonna do is go into this cap band, grab the third pin bar first pin, straight forward and back to itself all the way to the end. I won't go all the way on both of them. So I'll stop here. I will take it all the way to the end. I'll come back onto this side. So this is the fourth pin bar, first pin. And again, I'm just going to take it, grabbing that top band, which should be my white, and bring it all the way back to the other side. Okay, so when you're ready, press play. Okay then, it is time to tackle these long diagonals and short diagonals. And we're gonna start off with the long diagonals. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go into the third pin bar, first pin, so into that cap band. We're gonna grab that long diagonal first and we're gonna bring it up and back to itself. Then we're gonna go to the third pin bar, second pin, we're gonna grab that top band and we're gonna bring it down and back to itself. All right, I'll zoom in for you. So we're gonna go into the second pin of the third pin bar, we're gonna grab that long diagonal and we're gonna stretch it up and back to itself. Go to the third pin bar, third pin, grab that short diagonal and bring it back down to itself into the same pin, grab the long diagonal, go up and back to itself, go to the fourth pin of the third pin bar and bring that short diagonal back down to itself. So that's how you're gonna do this side. Same on this side, so we're gonna go into the fourth pin bar, first pin, grab that long diagonal and bring it up and back to itself. Then we're going to go into the fourth pin bar, second pin. We're going to go into all of those bands. It's quite straight, a bit tight fit there. And we're going to bring it down and back to itself. Then that same pin we just got the band from, we're going to go in and do the long stretch up and back to itself. Then we're going to go diagonally across and we're going to grab that short diagonal and Oh, that's the long one. Just pop it back onto the peg, get your hook, give it a swirl and it'll fall back into place. Now if I can just pull these bands back, hopefully I'll get the right one this time. Take a slash of diagonal, down and back to itself. Then we go back into that same pin and we'll take that long diagonal back up to itself, go across or diagonally down until you get that little little diagonal band and bring it back to itself there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you there. Go ahead and go all the way to the end and when you're ready, just press play. Okay, so that part is done. Next we're gonna do the straight forwards and the zigzags together. And we are going to go on the second pin bar, first pin. And we're going to go into the behind the band. So we're going to go behind the bands and we're going to grab that straight forward, which is my metallic white, and bring it back to itself. Then we're going to go into that pin. We're going to grab that top band, which should be going diagonally down, bring it back to itself. And then next one, diagonally up back to itself. Then we go into that pin again, grab the last band there, which is your forward, bring it forward, go into that pin, grab the diagonal down, bring it back to itself, go back in that pin, diagonal up, bring it back to itself, and then straight forwards. Do it one more time, we're going to go diagonal downwards, back to itself, and diagonal forwards back to itself okay then we're going to go over onto this side 
Now we're on the fifth pin bar, first pin, we're going to go into those bands, grab that straight forward, go forward one, then we're going to go into that pin, we're going to grab that top band, which is your down diagonal, and then back in, should be up diagonal, and then we bring it forward one more time, then we go in, grab your down diagonal, up diagonal, forward, down diagonal back to itself, up diagonal back to itself, and then your next move will go forward. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way to the end. And then next we're just going to do the border and that's going to be simply back to itself all the way to the end. So if you already know how to do that and you just want to jump ahead, then please do so. If not, I will be back to show you the part of the border next. So when you're ready, press play. All right, so that's my straight lines and zigzags. Next, I'm going to do the border. And obviously, if you're watching this, then you'll need some or want some help with this. So we're going to go into the cap band again. We're going to go onto the third pin bar, grab the band and bring it back to itself. And go back into that one. Grab the next band that goes across here, bring it back to itself, and then we're going to go into this pin, bring that bottom band, which is this one across here, and bring it back to itself, and we're going to do the same thing all the way up, and bring it in at the end, okay? And I think we're going to come back down to this side, we're going to go into the cap band, we're going to grab the border band and bring it back to itself, go into all those bands, grab that one that's going across here, bring it back to itself, go in, pull all those bands back, grab that straight forward, bring it back to itself, and again we're going to take this all the way until we get to the end and we're going to bring it in diagonally twice, okay? So I'm just going to jump off camera quickly and finish this off and I'll come back, put the C-clip on with you and show you how to take it off. Okay, be right back. All right, that's my border done. Next we're going to be doing the C-clip. So if you remember, I popped down one single band here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to do it from this angle. It's a bit easier for me. And I'm going to grab, go into all those bands and grab the one that's going across. Give it a little tug if you're not sure. And then hold one end. Then I'm going to go down into that pin. Pull it back until I grab the other end like that. It is much more simpler doing it when you don't have to try and play it for the camera, but I get there in the end. All right then, oh, see it's just jumped off. Okay. Right, all right. So to take it off, I would advise Just had to shut the door, something is a loud noise going on outside. Right, so what I would advise is you go into that cap band first and just pull it off, and then so you've got the, the first line there, and then I would just quickly whip up the first and sixth pin bar and take off the side tensions. pin bar. I'm a little nervous to see how this bead placing has gone on this bracelet. 
because there's not many natural places for the bees to lie on this design. I'm hoping I just chose the right places to place the beads to give it a little bit of grandeur. Right, okay, so I've got the two sides off and what I wanna do is just simply go from one side to the next. So middle, outer, middle, outer. And I'm just gonna take that all the way. Now you could, I suppose, technically pull it off but I feel if you've done enough time and energy making this bracelet, then just take that little extra time and take it off this way, and then you won't risk snapping any bands. I mean, these metallic ranges on the rainbow limbs are fairly durable, but I do find once you overstretch them, like if they get on one of these pins you could ruin it so better safe than sorry I say I've just seen this as it comes up and I've got a big smile on my face because I think it looks absolutely beautiful and it has come out just how I planned it to So what I will do is once I've taken this off, I'll show you the band with all the bands and the needing untwisting and the beads need placing, no doubt. So I'll just show you as is and I will then finish it off by straightening all the bands out and making it all neat and tidy and laying straight. And then I will post a picture on Instagram announcing this tutorial being live on YouTube on the UK Manic Loomers site. Sorry about that guys, the camera cut off for me during taking it off the loom. So I decided to continue taking off the loom off camera and come back to you when it was done. So how does it look? Well, you saw me taking it off most of the way, so you kind of got an idea. Now I haven't straightened any of the bands up yet or altered the beads. So I will do that in the morning because it's very late here at the moment, but I will show you what it looks like right now. And here it is. It is beautiful design and it is perfect for anybody to try who wants to do a bracelet, whether they are beginners or advanced will enjoy this band. So um, yeah, I just love it. I can't wait to, I've got to put it down to go to sleep, but I can't wait to uh, get up in the morning and sort these beads out and see how it really looks. So just to round everything up, this bracelet is called Hera's Throne and if you're not up on your Greek mythology, Hera is the goddess, wife of the god Zeus in the Greek mythology. So this is a very appropriate colour pattern of the blue, white and gold. See me, those were the Greek mythology Zeus colours. So that's why I went ahead and chose the colour pattern. And the design was, of course, designed by the great Dreaming Out Loud on Instagram. So again, the details are below in the description box if you are not already following her. She's definitely worth looking at. She has so many new designs every week. It's just great to see all the new combinations she comes out with. And of course, the tutorial is done by me, UK Manic Luma. So again, details are below in the description box if you'd like to follow me also. Uh, we would love to see your renditions, so please hashtag them. Details are below on how to hashtag correctly so that we can not only see these, but other people can see your renditions too. And um, yeah, so I think that's everything I need to say. So from the UK, bye.